Don't think that I am against you When I laugh at crazy things that you say Welcome again to Project Smarter Than That, where we talk about science in a fun and exciting way where you can try out things and understand scientific concepts. Now, I've always said that science is fun and science is exciting. Today I'm going to prove it to you once and for all. Let's say you're in a party and you're drinking responsibly and suddenly you feel like dazzling your friends. Dazzling them, but what will you do? Oh my, what trick will you use to dazzle your friends? But you also want to dazzle them responsibly and educationally. Well, just ask me. I have the perfect solution for you. You need to have two glasses. Now, this glass is full of water. The water is dyed red so that you can see the effect better, but this will work just as well with regular water not dyed red, obviously. And here I have a glass of alcohol. Regular alcohol, any alcohol will work. Although, if you are using drinking alcohol, which I do not recommend for kids, do check out the percentage. Higher percentage will work better, but um, higher percentage is not as recommended for drinking. So, practice science responsibly. We're going to switch between both liquids in both cups, hence this cup will have the alcohol and this cup will have the dyed water without using a third cup. And to do that trick, this really, really great trick, we're going to use the principle of density of matters. See, alcohol is lighter than water and water is denser than alcohol. Also, the density of water depends on its temperature. So, hot water will be lighter than cold water, which will be denser. Let's see what we need here. We need two cups, as I said before. One of them is filled with alcohol, and the other is filled with water. And some kind of cards. I'm going to use the MTA cards, New York MTA cards. But you can use credit cards, you can use whatever you want, as long as it's insulating. Don't use... Um, any kind of money or bills because it's absorbing the water obviously it won't work but credit card will do just fine so what are we gonna see today wait 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 what am, why am I talking why am I talking let's go right ahead and see what's going on so we have four cups on the table the red cups are my regular water the yellow one is the alcohol and the blank white one is just heated up water. Now you don't have to have the water boiling, you just have to have them a little bit hotter than the regular water you're going to use. Both red cups are the heavier liquids, so they're going to end up on top so that we'll have the transference of liquids. The way to do it is to put the card on top of the cup that you want to be on top. You hold it firmly and you rotate make sure that the card is covering the mouth of the cup. Once you rotate it, it'll stick. After you did that, just place the cup with the card on top of your lower one. In this case, the red cups will go on top of the other two cups. After you did that, the next step is to remove slowly the card in the middle, but you do not remove it completely. You leave a little bit of a hole just to let the liquids transfer in between. Do not remove the card completely. If you do that, the experiment is not going to work. And make sure that both cups are exactly one on top of the other. And once you're done, just wait and see. Now for your convenience, I kind of fast forwarded the process. I really, really didn't think it would be useful for you to just stare on the screen while both cups are slowly changing liquids. Although the entire process takes about four minutes, maybe five, depending on which liquids you're using. And as you can see, it works. The lighter liquid goes on top, the heavier liquid goes on bottom. And here you have it. We just switched cups. And when you're done and your friends are bowing at your feet, just remove the cups the same way you put them on. Make sure that the card is held firmly at the mouth of the cup so that it won't spill, of course. And as your friends clap and cheer in your honor, 
take the cup that used to be water and sip from it. And for more information, you can go to the blog, www.smarterthanthat.com, which appears right here. See? Click that. A lot more details, a lot more answers, and of course, resources are right there. So the cold water and the hot water didn't exactly switch all the way. They kind of got mm, almost switched. And the reason is that this is still the same matter. This is still both water. So the only thing that separates the two is the temperature. And as they were switching, it took a few minutes. And the cold water got a little bit warmer and the warm water got a little bit colder. So eventually there was nothing to switch. That's why the water cups aren't as successful as the alcohol and water cups that, as you can see, made a pretty good switch. So remember folks, party responsibly, but party physics. Crazy thing.